A third hostage has been executed by ISIS terrorists in Syria. British aid worker David Hines was paraded on camera before his throat was slit. Although the British Foreign Office is still working to verify the authenticity of this video, British Prime Minister David Cameron described the murder as an act of pure evil. 44-year-old Hines, a father of two, had been held by self-styled Islamic State terrorists since March 2013. Born Haynes, I would like to declare that I hold you, David Cameron, entirely responsible for my execution. You entered voluntarily into a coalition with the United States against the Islamic State, just as your predecessor, Tony Blair, did. Following a trend amongst our British Prime Ministers, who can't find the courage to say no to the Americans. Unfortunately, it is we, the British public, that in the end will pay the price for our Parliament's selfish decision. Entirely responsible for my the same brutality, the same warnings and the same stark reminder of the ground reality as the Islamic State militants allegedly released yet another video, this time showing the beheading of British aid worker David Haynes. Following a trend amongst our British Prime Ministers who can't find the courage to say no to the Americans. Following the pattern of previous videos of the beheading of journalist James Foley and Stephen Sutloff, the clip begins with news footage of Cameron discussing his policy towards the group before showing Haynes kneeling in the sand wearing an orange jumpsuit and making a statement. Reports say the beheading took place at the hands of the same British-speaking militant known as Jihadi John and showed another British hostage at the end, which would be next. The executioner said, if you, Cameron, persist in fighting the Islamic State. The hostage shown at the end of the latest video was identified as British citizen Alan Henning. The British government's foreign office said it was working urgently to verify the video. Prime Minister Cameron decried the murder as pure evil and vowed to find the killers in a post on his official Twitter account. Haynes, 44 years old, a father of two and an aid worker, was kidnapped and later sold to ISIS. He had been held for nearly two years, but his captivity was a closely guarded secret until he appeared at the end of a video release which showed the murder of Sotloff, who was an American freelance journalist. This third beheading comes in the wake of Obama's speech on clamping down on the terror outfit. That America will lead a broad coalition to roll back this terrorist threat. Our objective is clear. We will degrade and ultimately destroy ISIL. And a day after Haynes' family had made an attempt to contact his captors, although a statement released by the Foreign Office said that their requests for talks had been ignored. Haynes' identity had remained a closely guarded secret for 19 months in a bid to increase the chances of a negotiated release. But the situation changed dramatically with the execution first of Foley, another American journalist, and then Sotloff with the subsequent appearance of Haynes in the second murder video. While the Foreign Office scrambles to assess the authenticity, it must also figure out how to deal with this pressing threat soon. Bureau Report, Headlines today.